A car is an important asset to have in your life. If you live anywhere outside of a metropolitan area, you'll know that a car is the most efficient way to get around. Bus schedules are a pain, and trains are almost non-existent. So what if you were dropped into an empty, vast field, or desert, and you're tasked with going down a 5,000 kilometer road to see your mother? What method of transportation would you take? Welcome to the long drive. The Long Drive is an intentionally goofy game, complete with ridiculous physics and even goofier gameplay. Similar to real life, The Long Drive is a game where you need to maintain yourself and your car. You need to scavenge food, water, car parts, and fuel to keep yourself going on the way down the road. The eerie atmosphere and strange visuals walk hand in hand to make this game compellingly addictive. The long drive is still being worked on by the developer that goes by the name Genesis. G Genesis? G Gen Genesis? Put it up on the screen. That's how it's spelled. Pronounce it however you feel like. Who has been updating the game since 2019. The game tends to have quiet periods where it will go for months without an update, then suddenly it'll get five new cars and some new buildings. Then it'll be quiet for another extended period. Hopefully someday the game will get a stable dev schedule, but it's fine how it is for now. The long drive has rather poor graphics in my opinion, but that makes it have a much more uncanny and unsettling feeling, thus improving the atmosphere. But as you can see in the footage, it's not exactly a great looking game. The long drive excels in what I would call dryness, where everything has a super dry, dead vibe. From the environments, to the buildings, and even the cars themselves. It looks like it hasn't rained in months. Speaking of the cars, a lot of their designs are from the Eastern Bloc, with a couple of exceptions. I would list them all, but that's far too long a list of information that I'm willing to get into for this video, so I'll meet you in the middle and say there's 19 or so drivable vehicles in the game, at the time of me writing this. And they can all be customized to a certain degree. There's always more to a game than the graphics, unless it's a first party console launch title. The gameplay is very simple, drive and don't die. There are two main ways to do this, number one, hoard food, number two, hoard fuel. Hoarding food is very easy, at most places along the road you'll be able to find some snacks, cookies, meat slabs, that kind of stuff. Hoarding fuel is a little more difficult. Fuel is one of, if not the most important resource in this game. Sure, you can survive for quite a while if you run out of food or water. If you run out of gas, you aren't going anywhere. There is a pedal bike in the game, but if you're using a car, it's hard to store it without the physics busting. Back to the gas. You can usually find fuel at many different stops along the road, but fuel can usually and in highest quantities be found in abandoned tanker ships. They will have a plethora of barrels, and in those barrels can be any liquid in the game, which can be a blessing and a curse if you find a diesel barrel that's 40% blood. Stopping on an out of the way tanker to get some diesel can be dangerous, as usually the main risks are getting lost or attacked by evil rabbits, only to get to the tanker and then finding only some watered down gas. Nobody, you can't run a car off watered down gas. Just not how this works. Speaking of evil rabbits, there's combat in this game. However, it's very simple. There are two methods of combat, melee, ranged, and car. You get one melee weapon and one ranged weapon in your house at the start of the game, so you don't have to worry about finding them. It's me, Piccolo! <laughs> The only real constant problem in this game is the buggy physics. A lot of the physics problems can be mitigated by toggling the physics lock in the car on, but this doesn't fix everything, especially in multiplayer. Yes, you heard right. Multiplayer? I hardly know her. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> the multiplayer is great and terrible in every way. It's the perfect game to mess around with your friends in, but it tends to have a complete desync and physics breakdown after a couple hours. I don't I don't rightly know what's happening. 
did you get out? Oh! That didn't... Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh Backflip! <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> this game has the bare minimum for story. I can't actually find where I heard that 5,000 kilometer away mother story, but I did hear it from some material related to the game, and I think that it's a good enough reason to drive that far. It is a completely optional story, and from what I've read, the landscape just seems to stop generating after 5,000 kilometers. But I'm not Catboy enough to achieve that distance, as it took me 18 and a half hours of streaming just to get one fifth of that. Shut up! This has been my kind of short review of the long drive, as it took me far too long to make this, so smash that like button! <laughs> And it'll help motivate me to make more videos on a quicker time frame. It's not too quick, though. That video kind of sucked. Um, for more content, follow me on Twitch, linked in the description. Uh, I've been streaming there a lot, I've been having a great time doing it. I've been really just slamming through uh, Tears of the Kingdom. It's been a real, real good time. Um, this now officially marks the part of the video where I just start rambling for a minute or two, so by all means, um, uh, move along if you don't want to hear me rambling. So yeah, that's the, uh, that's the long drive. Uh, sorry my furnace fan is going and it won't stop. It, I've been waiting for an hour to do this, but I just want to get it done. So, <laughs> so thanks for, thanks for... Uh, thanks for watching, like, honestly, thank you for watching. It means so much to me to, that I can, like, reach people with these dumb videos I make. And it just means so much. But, uh, if you want to know when I make a next video, I don't have anything planned, but, um, next video will come out when it comes out. Um, if you want to, if you want to hit that stupid little subscribe button... It'll let you know when there's a new thing out. That's what it's there for. Um, but like, honestly, if you didn't like this video, please tell me why in the in the comments, or just dislike it. That's also an option. Uh, you can't. You guys can't see the dislikes on YouTube anymore, but I can, and I'll know. And it'll help me try to figure out. Um, what people don't like about these videos because I want to I want to reach my opinions to a lot more people and I want to recommend games to a lot more people that maybe they didn't know about or maybe they wrote off as just a dumb stupid physics game like fucking goat simulator and it's just it's just people People sometimes see a game like this and they just don't give it a chance because it just looks like it's meant to be a goofy game. But Genesis himself said that he wanted to make a true open world game where there's no limits on what you can interact with. And frankly, that is that's a that's a vision right there. And he is attempting to execute it wonderfully. Um, so yeah, give the game a shot, it's really fun, <laughs> and just, I don't know, uh, I'm done, follow me on Twitch if you want, uh, frequent content, I'll see you guys next time I make a video, thank you so much, bye.